Hello friends, welcome to Square Plans. I'm Stephanie and today we're going to be setting up our horizontal spreads for the next week in May. Got some highlighters here and a Tombow brush pen ready to go, as well as some washi I may use and these sticker books which I'll pull from. Okay, so this week I decided that I wanted some tropical vibes here in my planner. I found a whole sheet of these leaves in the Happy Illustration sticker book and I've been kind of saving them because I think they're pretty cool looking. Uh, I just didn't really have any good ideas for them in the past so I thought well this will be the week that I try and make something cool with these guys. My original idea was to do kind of a center spine decor just down the center so I'm going to start laying them out and see how that goes. There's not very many of them. I mean, there's probably enough to do what I want to do, but I wish I had more to make things look a little bit more lush or more full. So that kind of becomes an issue, as you'll see when I'm trying to lay them out here on the spread. So I'm just starting with the bigger stickers first and trying to vary the colors so none of them are two bunched up together in the same color and then working my way down to the smaller items that I have. I have these ones that I think go with these but they look a little bit different kind of again wish I had more of those larger palm frond style I mean I don't know what kind of um, plant that is but the bigger leaf style versus these ones that look almost like feathers to me. I, I thought those ones were a little bit harder to work in here. I'm also trying to make it so that the stems either touch the spine or touch each other. I kind of want them to look not just like they're floating there, but we'll see. It's not coming together like I'd hoped, so I'm just using all of the stickers that I can find, trying to fill in the gaps. I have a few smaller stickers as you can see here on this other page so I'm going to try to loop those in and maybe even this little guy with the iguana on it. I would have loved to do more of a like an ombre style with maybe like the olive green down to the teal green kind of have it go from top to bottom. Some of the stickers are actually pre-layered, so I wouldn't have been able to do that. And now I'm just going through the book, trying to find any other stickers that I could find with this same pattern and pulling those in. I was hoping to find some more leaves. Like I said, I still feel like it's a little bit sparse. Not quite enough leaves to do what I really wanted to do there down the center. I also remembered that in the Happy Illustration sticker book there are some coordinating stickers there with the same leaf patterns and colors. So I went into that and thought I might pull in some of those stickers but they're pretty large and they detract quite a bit from the decor in my opinion. So I'm not real sure about them yet. I'm just trying to see how they might lay out on the spread, but I'm not loving it right now. There's also a few box stickers with some of those leaf vibes there in the Happy Illustration sticker book, but the two main ones that I like have that pink flamingo on them, and I didn't really want to put in any pink onto the spread. So I think I'm just going to leave those guys where they are and see if I can make some things happen here with the washi tape that I pulled. So this washi was from Joann's and I got it in like a pastel pack actually. The color is just perfect I think for that more kind of olive toned green. Originally I was thinking maybe I'd put it down the spine, but then since I wasn't really happy with the way that the leaves were looking down the center, I decided to try them 
on the sides and see if I like that better as more of a border. And that gave me a little bit more of a chance to bring in the color of that washi tape on the edge. So we're going to try that out. And like I said, I'm going to try and vary the colors and the leaves, reworking it a little bit from what I had on the other side, just to make it a little bit smoother transitions. It takes me a few minutes to really get it to where I felt like it looked good and everything was in a good place. I do like layering the leaves together when I can, like I said, with the stems. It looks a little more natural, like they're coming out from the same plant. I think that looks better. And I'm going to start on the other side, see how that all comes together. Again, I'm going to rearrange a few things. There's a pretty big contrast between the bigger stickers and the smaller stickers, so it required a little bit more finagling, moving things around to make it feel more natural. It looked a little bit weird with the scaling, with some things being so, so big and then right next to something small, so things are going to move around a bit, just trying to make it feel more natural and organic. And I'm kind of liking that. I think uh, we're pretty close. There's a few things I would probably change, so I'm going to go ahead and shift a few of these little things around just for color and scale, like I said. Give a little bit more variety here on the left-hand side with smaller stickers, and then that way it's not just on one side where all the small stickers are. Takes a bit of work to get it to where I like it. I think the main reason that I fiddled so much is because of those feather style leaves. They're just, I don't know, a little more awkward. Also, it depends on how the leaves are shaped. Some of them are curved one way and some are curved the opposite way. So matching those up and, and making them uh, feel like they're naturally cascading down off the page is a little bit trickier than maybe it should be. I think we're getting close here. Just need to Try not to layer too much of this color right on top of each other. Mixing it up, trying to find a good happy place for some of these. And I think that will work, having that olive one in the middle. But now it's a little bit tight there. Okay, I think I'm comfortable with the way this came out. And I thought about adding in some scatter confetti there, which I think would have looked really cute. But I have an idea that I'm going to try out at the end of the video for some texture, which you'll see. And now I'm into my rainbow mega pack, just looking for maybe some quotes or some things to add in here. And maybe even some focus boxes, we'll see. Really like these smaller quotes here, just kind of nestled into the leaves. I did want to use some larger quotes, but there won't be enough room if I do put those on the spread and try to actually use it functionally. So I'm always trying to keep that in mind. 
Got to keep the spread as functional as possible. And now I'm adding in some focus boxes. Just grabbing those from that mega pack in the color scheme. And then I'm going to try and cut up this guy here and maybe use some of the pattern in the background and other places around the spread. I'm going to cut out basically a square where the quote is. And then I think I'll just cut this guy in half, make it a little bit more streamlined and proportional to the focus box that I pulled. Just add a bit of pattern behind it. And just trying them out in different areas, seeing what works, what feels right. I might add these two together just to kind of save space and then allow me to bring in this quote for some added decor. Moving things around, just trying things out. I'm going to cut down that other quote as well. Kind of do a similar thing, I think, down here at the bottom as up there at the top. Just gives a nice symmetry. And again, I think I'll kind of do that same thing with the symmetry. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this guy back. So I decided I'm not going to use it. I really didn't like the black outline on that one. And then this guy was just a little too big. So now I'm going to see if I want to work in some of this washi that I pulled, but I feel like it's a little too blue. So we'll leave that. And maybe pull in another quote or two. I think that works. It's not too full, plenty of functional space still, and things to look at, little moments to kind of brighten the spread up. Okay, so here's the new technique that I'm gonna try out here on this spread. I have an old sticker sheet that I am just going to brush over with my Tombow brush pen. And because the sticker sheet has some kind of coating on it, the ink beads up, which is really nice, and creates this little beaded texture, which I thought turned out really cool. I did a little bit of a sloppy job on the right-hand side, which I'll try to clean up at the end, but overall, just the idea of it, I think it's a really cool like texture technique, a little mixed media there, and so I was excited to try that out here on this spread. I just added a little extra oomph. It was my first time, like I said, using it, so I really tried to keep it somewhat minimal at first, so I didn't overwhelm the spread just to see how I liked it. But when there's no going back, there's no undo, I get a little scared of doing things, so <laughs> try to keep myself from going overboard right off the bat, small steps, and I like how that turned out. So I've laid down the washi tape on the edge. I just went ahead and redid it because the other one ripped on me when I tried to pull it up. And now I am moving over the leaves so that they are actually right up against the edge of the page instead of how they were on the wax paper, which was kind of laid into the washi tape. And the reason I'm doing that is because I do want the stems to look like they're trimmed off, like they're attached to something off page. So I'm just gonna edit or you know adjust it so it's just shoved out a little bit, but basically everything's gonna be in the same spot. That will give me the visual that I'm looking for as far as how the leaves are coming in from the sides. And I kinda like that strip of washi being in the back. It just gives a little extra something to the edges of the page, a little bit more color and vibrancy. 
And I'm going to go ahead and trim off the stems, like I said, so they look a little bit more organic. And I'll try to save just the bottom leaf here. The other ones were just the edges of the stems, really, so I didn't feel like those were worth saving. But the bottom of the leaf I might be able to reuse at some point on the other side or in some other area here as trimmings. And I'm moving over my focus boxes now, kind of resetting and aligning things. I'm going to go ahead and do the same on the opposite side. This one I cut a little crooked, so I'm just going to fix it and then lay in the focus box. And this time I'm going to pull up the washi tape first and lay it in just to make it a little bit smoother and allow me to really line it up. And I kind of just slid the scissors along the side and that made a really nice cut. Just kind of slid it like you do with wrapping paper and that worked really great. So now I am laying over the leaves, again kind of pushing them out towards the edge of the page so that the stems can be trimmed off. And that one slid off a lot easier, so that was nice. Just going to lay in this last one that I pulled up and hand lay in the smaller quotes. And here I'm using the trimming from the other side just to make it feel a little more full. There's more trimmings of the leaves on this side, so I'm going to save those as much as possible and reuse those where I can. Okay, that looks good. And then I'm going to have one really big one from the bottom a trimming to use, so I'll see if I can use it up here at the top. And I decided I was a little bit much, so I'm going to go ahead and just use part of it. See if I can reuse that other piece, but I don't think so. It looks a little bit more awkward. And okay, so I'm going to start laying in my checklist boxes using my mild liners here. Just pulled two coordinating colors and I'll just vary those every other day. This one that I'm using right now is a little bit brighter than I'd like it to be but I don't think it's a hindrance to the design of the spread. And I'm using my Sakura Jelly Roll to clean up some of the mess that I had made. And now I'm going to add in a little bit more of that texture where I feel like it could fit in with the spread, kind of working around the stickers there. Just give a little bit more of a textured vibe. And really all you're doing is just brushing it on and then pressing down flat like you would a stamp and it works pretty well. So new technique to try. I'm going to put in a little bit more here on some of these focus boxes and we will be done friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch and think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and we'll see you next time. Bye!